Giraffes are pretty cool, with the largest giraffes standing at over 5 metres tall and weighing up to 1,900 kilograms, they are the tallest animals in the world and the 8th heaviest land animals behind different species of elephants, rhinos and hippopotamus. Giraffes are amazing modern day megafauna, but what do they sound like? When you are very young, you learn what different sounds different animals make. Dogs bark, cats meow, cows moo, pigs oink, lions roar, but what does a giraffe do? When you ask the question to Google, there's now this fun new feature which plays you what different animals sound like. Like rats, and leopards, and bowhead whales, and buffalo, and giraffes. So do giraffes sound like eating leaves? This is kind of like saying humans sound like this noise. Sure, it's a sound we can make, but it's not the sound we make. What are the vocalizations a giraffe makes? Well, we're still learning about the sounds a giraffe makes. It turns out that giraffes are very quiet animals. And for a long time, we thought that they just didn't vocalize. They have a larynx or a voice box similar to most mammals in that they can run air over the vocal cords to make sound but we thought that because their necks are so long that giraffes just couldn't generate enough air pressure to run air over their vocal cords fast enough to make a sound. There was another theory that giraffes use infrasound, sound which is so low that humans can't hear it. The theory behind this is that well the smaller the animal, the higher the pitch. The larger the animal, the lower the pitch. Mice are very, very small, so they make very high pitched sounds. Cows are pretty big by comparison, and they make much lower sounds. There are very large animals that we know make such a low sound that we can't hear them, but we can record them. But the animals that make the sound can hear it. Whales make a huge range of sounds. Some of those sounds we can't hear because they're so low, but they can travel huge distances underwater and be heard by other whales. Elephants, our largest land animals, also use infrasound to communicate over long distances. Scientists first discovered this back in the 80s. There was an assumption that due to the giraffe's size and apparent lack of vocalization that we could hear, that they must be doing something similar, but We've never found any evidence of this at all. Hmm. People who have spent a lot of time around giraffes have reported that they make a series of sounds. They occasionally snort, where they just run air out of their noses. Similarly, they might make a burst, which is just a burst of air out of their mouths. And occasionally, they will grunt. Calves, and yes, baby giraffes are called calves. Females are called cows and males are called bulls. A bit like cows, uh, but calves kind of make a moo. There's a link in the resources to a giraffe calf mooing and it is very cute and also way deeper than you might expect, but I can't show it here because I don't have the rights to use it. But other than that, we didn't know what sounds giraffes made, if they made any at all. That was until 2015 when some scientists recorded a bunch of data over several months in three European zoos, the Berlin Tierpark in Germany, Copenhagen Zoo in Denmark, and Vienna Zoo in Austria. Over 908 hours of nighttime noises and 38 hours of daytime noises were recorded. Giraffes are actually pretty active at night. They need less than five hours sleep a day, and they generally sleep in 35 minute chunks, so they're up most of the night. Pretty cool. The researchers combed through the recordings for any giraffe vocalizations to see if they did any, which was extremely time consuming and tedious. And there was nearly 950 hours of audio to go through, but they found that yes, giraffes make noises. And yes, they were audible to humans. They were very low, but audible for us. This is what a giraffe sounds like. They hum. Giraffes hum. That's the answer to the question. Giraffes hum.
We still have a lot to learn. The researchers don't know which giraffe made each of the hums, so there's no way to know really you know, what each hum means or what they're used for, or how they you communicating with them. We don't know it different hums mean different things. There's still a lot to learn. Giraffes do most of their communicating visually. They use body language largely and occasionally through the nudging and sniffing of certain parts and fluids when it comes to mating season, but that's not for this video. So to answer today's question of what sound does a giraffe make, they hum. That's pretty cool. I think it's really interesting how there is still plenty of things that we don't know and are discovering and have questions about. I look forward to finding out what we learn about giraffes and their communication in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below and with a like button. If you would like to see more videos like this about things that capture my sense of curiosity and wonder, please consider subscribing to That's Pretty Cool. Thanks again for watching, take care, stay curious and we'll see you next time.